When you look around South LA, what you see is mostly unhealthy foods because of the economic realities of different communities. People everywhere want quality food because you can't get anything for $4.50 that's the least bit healthy. We think that everyone everywhere is equally deserving of not only access to healthy food, but access to all the other things that ought to be human rights. I'm Craig Hobson, I'm the executive chef at Every Table. In the past I've worked at high fine dining restaurants, uh, Three Star Michelin in France, Le Cirque in New York is obviously a very big famous restaurant. The opportunity came with Every Table to do something completely different, but I'm sort of a creative type, so I like to create things so I can still have those creative juices fulfilled. It ranges from salads, like a chicken Caesar salad made with kale, so it's really healthy. And then we have cold bowls, like a Vietnamese noodle salad. We have a Tex-Mex style salad. We have a pork red pozole. We have a vegetarian chili. And we have a chicken tinga with chayote and grains. So yeah, we run the full gamut from salads through to entrees. The pricing at every table, and everything is under 450. Depending on where our stores are located, we charge different prices. Whether you're a mom in South LA where per capita income is $13,000 a year, or you're on the west side, the number one thing that people blow their budgets on is actually their food. We try and price our meals at a level that's affordable for the local community. It's been a real, real challenge to create meals like this at a low price point, at a good nutritional value. Well, this is a Jamaican jerk chicken. So this has been marinated for 24 hours and then smoked in the smoker for about two hours. Every day in the kitchen we have our culinary team and our chefs prepping out a big quantity of each meal. Those are finished off literally hours before they get dropped off at the stores. We sell through everything from 11 to 8. Whatever's left over on the shelves is then donated to charity. I work for an organization known as Ellis Foundation. We provide transitional homes for guys coming out of prison, and um, we get the donations that every table um, finishes up with. We take them and we provide the meals for the guys at the two sites that we have. The community here definitely needs these type of prices because, of course, as you can see, we're a developing community where a lot of individuals in the community may not have the resources to pay for the food of this type of quality. Most of the people here in the community they have low income and they are always you know working and running from the work to the house so really uh, it makes that option they didn't have before obesity is um, prevalent in our community so we we're really excited that there is a place like this that can provide healthy food for the families in our neighborhood 